For fishermen, warmer water can mean less income as species migrate or reproduce earlier in response to changing habitat conditions. Ocean temperatures are rising across the planet, so understanding the impacts of climate change on marine life has become a central challenge for the fishing industry. In the Gulf of Maine, ocean temperature has risen faster than 99% of the world's ocean in the past 10 years. Researchers and lobstermen are collaborating to adapt to these changing conditions. It was about 10 years of cumulative warming. Every year got warmer and warmer. 2012 was the warmest year on record. It moved up the whole timetable of the lobster's molt, and so we had the lobster's molt about six weeks early, so no one could handle the lobsters. So they dropped the price to like below two bucks because they didn't want them. We can't have another year like 2012 and not be prepared for it. We experienced warmer temperatures than had ever been experienced over at least the last 30 years. The lobstermen were very interested in us coming to them and asking them what they were seeing. Sixty percent of the lobstermen in the industry, they get up every morning and they go fishing, regardless of the conditions. In 2012, they were uh, compromising their bottom line by going fishing when there was no market and the lobsters were compromised because of the warming conditions. We were able to talk about climate change with them. Maine Sea Grant figured out how to move from ideas into action. Lobstermen described how the system works during a normal year. Lobsters would molt more than once as waters gradually warmed. Both soft and hard-shelled lobsters would be captured and sold at key times. Sales minus expenses for crew, gas, and maintenance would typically yield enough income to sustain the entire industry. Some of the things that they're talking about are financial, ultimately financial threats to their communities and businesses. These can be very scary and these can be very complicated. The innovation is the facilitated collaboration. We're then really able to tailor the end result and the end product for what that community needs. The way I looked at it from a fisherman's point of view, it was uh, very good to be able to put inputs in that were actual facts from the business, you know, like how much bait, how many lobsters, and to get a return back to see what happened, it was, it was really pretty close. In 2012, warm ocean water brought early shedding in lobsters. Overabundant soft-shell lobsters flooded the market, sending prices downward. Yet expenses remained steady. The result? Net income plummeted. The system's dynamics model allowed fishermen to see the connection between climate and their bottom line. The lobstermen that we were working with really understood that things need to change as, the, as an industry, not just as an individual. It takes the individual's knowledge to express that, but it's an industry-wide change that needs to occur. 